Sure. Yeah, I think, um, you know, this time of year, you know, all the players and coaches, uh, you know, everybody's uh, so excited about the new, the new beginning of a new season, of a new challenge. Um, and looking forward to, to what this club can do. Um, I know our, our group of players have, uh, they've worked extremely hard. There's two things that I know that uh, this group has done very well. And, you, know, you don't have to coach uh, attitude and effort. Um, that's a good sign. And this group has worked really hard to get themselves in a position ready for opening day. And, uh, it's exciting. Um, we got a lot of new faces, 19 new faces in the clubhouse. And, uh, and those guys are looking forward to the challenges that lie ahead for this program this year. John, you just touched on it. 19 new faces, so I'm not going to ask you to... I don't know all their names. <laughs> <laughs> but I can just sense the tone in your voice. No predictions, but based on what you've seen in the workouts, this team feels good. Yeah, I mean, you know, um, I'm encouraged by this group. I really am. I, I like the makeup of this group. Uh, we went out and got some guys that can fill some of the needs that we have. Obviously, we had a lot of needs, um, you know, based off of where we were last year and the, the situation we went through last year. So the good thing is all these new guys, they, you know, they're eager and chomping at the bit along with the returning players. We've got a good group core of returning players that, uh, you know, are anxious to, to, to hit the field and get started. We had a lot of new guys last year, and it's just like the same Well, I think the difference this year is we brought in more experienced guys. We went out and we brought in some junior college players. This league is, is very good. Um, in, in order to make a ground in this league, you have to have experience. And we thought that was one of the keys last year. We ran some guys out there that you know, had to catch the collegiate level, junior college level. So we went out and tried to address those needs. And, you know, that's the biggest thing we've worked on is, you know, the chemistry of this group trying to get this group to bond and, and form that, that DNA in the clubhouse, which is so vital in any program. John, I'm not saying that it's vital, but with such a new group, how nice would it be to get off to a solid start to your part of the season? You know, any any year, you always want to get off to a good start. It doesn't matter what year, if you, you know, what year it is, um, you want to get off to a good start. Um, the biggest thing for us is trying to figure out the pieces of who goes where. You know, we've got some some situations where the guys are still going to be fighting for time and looking for opportunities, and that's what this preseason is is for. Obviously, we want to go out and perform and win and and do some great things, but we got to figure out what pieces go where. The good thing is we have we have more options this year than we've had, you know, in the three years that I've been here. You mentioned options there. You turned your weekend starters there pitching, and then uh, you know, Troy added, you know, it was a strong lefty. And you I think we, there again, the word option comes to mind, uh, more depth. I think when, you know, last year we had some guys that, uh, you know, uh, were hurt got, and we had to put some guys in there. They worked extremely hard and really battled, but, you know, um, there's no, ex no substitution for experience on the mound. We've got some experience, but they have to go out and perform. You know, experience is one thing, but performance is another. You can have great experience, but... Um, there comes a time when you have to go out and, and the expectations of, of being an older guy, um, you've got to meet those expectations and that's where we're at right now. Coach, this team was picked to finish last in the conference, but when you and your team see that, does that kind of serve as bolts and more type material for the I actually told them before any of that stuff came out, I said, you know, what happens, you base it off of last year, you know, and it's easy to look at this club and, and see what we did last year. and. I told him, you know, that's you can use it one of two ways. You can motivate yourself, or you can, you know, feel sorry for yourself. But this team has moved forward. You know, um, we, we've turned the page. Uh, what's done is done, and, and there's a lot of excitement with this group. And sure, we'll use it for motivation, but we also have to use it for, um, you know, an experience thing to learn what we did and what we need to do better. Coach Curry isn't moving to left field, correct? Pardon me? Curry is moving to left Yes. Field. How, how, how is that going? How's that transition it's been, going? It's been outstanding. You know, um, when we brought the idea up to him, um, he bought in. You know, I feel like our outfield is probably one of our deeper spots. You know, he did a good job in left field for us. But um, that's what we need. We need guys that, you know, are going to buy in and, into the team concept, into the team idea. 
slid him over to left field, and he's done an outstanding job. And, and uh, I'm proud of him the way he's handled it. Sometimes it's hard when you when you're a senior and you're asked to move a position. He never batted an eye, and that's that's what we need in that clubhouse for this program. John, we're also going to talk to Ryan. What do you like coaching about Ryan? Well, the one thing Ryan has ability. You know, Ryan Thurston has been around. He's pitched in big games. He's got ability. Um, he's you know he can go out there and and um, you know flip a lineup over three times, and that's important to be a starting pitcher. Um, but I, the biggest thing I like about he's competitive, and he's got experience. And, and it's very difficult in this league to, to go out there if you just have talent. He's been in big situations. He know what it, he knows what it's like. And there again, you know, he's a, 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 a guy who, um, you know, has, has pitched well for us, and we're going to count on him to, to lead the charge this year. Coach, how hard is he going to be to replace your catcher? He's, you know, Donnie Bench, Ward Pilots. Yeah. How hard is that going to be? Hunter Wood was outstanding. I, you know, I, I talk to him all the time, and very difficult to replace that. You know, here's a guy that really didn't get a shot until his senior year, and he was off the charts last year. And, um, yeah, that's one of the positions that you know is still going to be up for grabs. We got to figure out who who's going to be back there, and um, those guys were got some great competition going on back there. How soon would you like these positions to be kind of solidified? Uh, I would have liked them today, to yeah. be honest. With you. Um, it's going to take time. You know, there's really no time frame for it. What happens is, you know, you can practice and you can put them in game situations, but until those those lights cut on, you you don't know what you're going to get, especially from the new guys. So um, we'll see. We'll, hopefully we'll be able to figure that out soon, but the players will dictate that.